All right, cold morning, snowy morning. The snow has finally stopped, but I guess it's, well, it's not officially a winter, I don't think yet, but it's pretty close to it. Uh, so I got a bunch of errands I got to run today, but most importantly, we have to stop off at a thrift store here, drop off a lot of donations before the holiday season. Uh, well, I guess the holiday season's pretty much over, but during the holiday season, that way, if anyone wants a Christmas stuff, they can probably get it this week, a little late, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what today is in store. We're going to run to the scrapyard later, but let's check out the thrifts and see what, uh, see what people have or what people have donated recently. A lot of people say that usually this is the best time to go thrifting because there's the most donations and everyone's trying to do good in the world. So we'll see if that's true, but let's get out there and make it a fun day of treasure hunting with taco stacks. Let's do it. This is cool. What is this? Oh, it's a mask. It's a Bowser mask. It's kind of cool. How does not have a price on it? That's got to be something new. That can't be from like the 90s. I'll have to hold on to this. This is that's Bowser, right? How's it no? I guess it's a Halloween costume. They're not really trying to sell this, are they? There's no price. What the bird's hiding in between it? Some prints. Two dollars. It's got a dent in it. Catnap. Marked to one fifty. Weird things they sell at a thrift store. I like how that was hidden. It's a trick. Someone knows someone and they're like, yeah, I'll uh, put out a $500 print we just put in between two priority mailboxes, which we can't sell, so no one's going to look at them anyway. The tricks of the trade. Bowser's cool. He's going back. He's only worth about $15 online. So I thought maybe you would have a really rare item from like the 90s. $75. That is not the case. not gonna work. I don't need a pitching wedge but my brother insists that he get one. He thinks he's to a disadvantage when he does the golf challenge. Saying, what am I missing? You wonder why sometimes I flip things over like this. It doesn't look like it, but I thought maybe it might be sterling. So sometimes it might be stamped on the bottom. Sterling it is not, so I put it back. Uh, other things I'm looking for, just like the name, or to reassure myself, like those blue, blue bowls over there. I thought maybe they were hall be marked hall on the bottom they weren't marked anything so I did not reassure myself some bobbleheads so the Lehigh Valley iron plates are local 
a lot of these bobbleheads end up appearing around here. Darren Ruff, all-time New York Mets legend. If you know, you know. If you don't know, he's, he's not the best. He's not the best baseball player, at least in his Mets tenure. But a lot of Iron Pig stuff ends up at thrift stores, especially bobbleheads. It's only 10 minutes down the road. Look at this masterpiece. That is awesome. It's uh, something I also noticed is a lot of these scenes of forests and trees always are done in fall. For something that's only like a two week period, you always notice that these trees have these like yellow and brown and reddish leaves, which look probably better than just like bright green or dark green. Uh, but it's almost like everyone likes to paint in the two week period that the, uh, the leaves are changing color in fall. Just something I've noticed. So I managed to find one thing. Look at this blanket. The last blanket I had was a really nice one. I sold at Lamberville for $35. This one, super merino wool, all wool blanket, no moth holes. Very nice, with like a very retro like uh, plaid to it. And it's only uh, it's only seven dollars, so I'm going to get that. I also noticed my buttons have been unbuttoned the wrong way or buttoned the wrong way for the last like four hours, so it's a good day. Like you can you can fold stuff for the or you can take these out and just put them. Things you can take this out, leave it next to That's the same one I found in the trash like a month ago. Just all the wheels are on it, and they want 35 bucks. That's new. That's not new. So I'm not too sure what what this brand is. Super Merino, and then I think the uh, the name of it was at the bottom, but it's kind of. Something industrial. Probably can figure it out if I flatten it. But it uh, looks like Salsa has to get her zoomers out right now, and then we'll be off to the scrap yard. Uh, a good day to take a lot of a lot of metal, especially the better metal. I'm going a little bit late today as well, so probably going to shock the guy when I show up here at two o'clock in the afternoon. Salsa's really pulling. Tail's going. Can't go. You can't go over there, Salsa. Let's go. Can't wait until my house is very muddy. Okay, so here's my lovely pile. This didn't sell at Lamberville. It's, it's fairly new, but I thought it might. Um, my pile of scrap, as you guys see, there's just a lot here. Uh, so I'm going to plan on making one more trip after this before the holidays. Uh, and then kind of like I do a Christmas bonus. So I bring in all my really expensive metal that day. And hopefully I'll make a, you know, a couple hundred, if not a hundred dollars in scrap because what you'll see here is we're not going to come close to that number with what I'm going to bring today but uh so I want to save I guess two buckets of my better stuff for then which will be my yellow brass and my number two copper I might have some bare bright copper and I might do a video on stripping copper wire uh and do a whole thing on that soon but that might be for another time so what we're going to do is take this which is dirty brass now uh, this is damaged, but uh, it is brass. However, the end of it is not brass, so they cannot recycle this as uh, as clean brass. I got this at a rummage sale. I paid, I think, a dollar for it. I was going to try selling, or I did try selling it, and no one wanted it. So that would go as that. Also, a lot of door handles, doorknobs are also considered dirty, bra considered dirty brass. So that will go, and I do have... More wire there, as well as underneath here. Got a whole thing of wire that needs to be processed. So I'll probably do that next week. Like my fire extinguisher. Just like the hand warmers, uh, never use an expired fire extinguisher. They do not work at all like how they're supposed to when they're expired. Uh, so when this thing in the middle is no longer in that green section, you uh, either need to charge it or throw it out. 
do not save it and do not think it's going to help you because I've tested them just not on not on water or not on a fire and they just like dribble out so it does not work so if you want to check the ones in your house right now and pause the video I completely respect it just don't exit out I still need the ad revenue and let's take this bucket of wire pretty heavy all right we'll see what we get a little pre-Christmas treat bonus so they got that main door closed I guess it's too cold out which I don't blame them I mean you're just you can't have the heat on you can't work outside at 32 degree 32 degree weather all day long it just you can't do it I mean you could do it but it's tough which if you have that door open that's pretty much what you're doing so they close it they turn on the heat in there and that's that that surprisingly has some weight to it i might also see if they want to give me a stainless price for this uh depending on how busy they are they would um I never understood why they'd give you clean stainless considering it has this like coating on it but I'm not a smelter I don't understand everything that goes with this business they probably also could somehow get that edge off uh, but the only things that are steel is this and these uh, these ridges everything else on this is stainless I'll see what they say depending on how busy they are is depending on if they take stuff a certain way. All right, so I think I was saying how the scrapyard is doing something weird over here. Right now, it looks like a mud pit. You might be able to see that guy's just chilling in the middle of water. It's, uh, it's very weird. Maybe you can see in the mirror. It's just all mud. All right. So my good friend, who actually has a red truck, uh, he does all the garbage picking also um, in the areas. He's actually the one who told me, uh, he told me about the bulk pickup that we saw for like the last week or so, or it was last week. He told me about that probably about two years ago. Um, I saw him at the scrapyard, so he dropped off a whole bag of golf balls. So my brother and I will enjoy those come uh, the Christmas season, the winter season, because I guess my brother is going to stop by and spend a day or so around the holidays. I know he works. He he switches so many jobs. I mean, that guy, he, he switches a job every two years. But he has a new job. It's a data analyst or something like that. Uh we made it back. I got a total of $53 uh, from scrap. So that was definitely a plus. I think next week I'll probably be close to around the $100 mark. That'd be even more awesome. Uh, but I guess that's going to wrap it up here for a wonderful day of taco stacks. I got a blanket. Pretty nice one. I'll have to do some more research on it. It is a very, very nice colorway. It's like an aqua blue. Very, very different. Uh, usually you get a lot of plaids. Dark green, like an army green. Uh, maybe like a dark red and then a cream white. You don't ever really see a lot of aqua blue wool blankets. I never really thought of it like that. But it's been an awesome day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I think I'll be going trash picking tomorrow morning. I am bidding on a bunch of storage lockers as well. So hopefully I'll be able to buy a storage unit tomorrow. Uh, and then that video will be posted on Saturday if I'm able to buy it. We already know what happens with online units. You guys already know a deal. If you haven't checked out my last fiasco with that, that video is really taken off. Um... There's a lot of views compared to a lot of the other videos on the channel. And uh, that is unfortunately the problem of storage units is the content of that video. So if you watch it in the context of that video, I should say, if you watch it, you'll understand what I'm getting at. But uh, I'm going to try to give it another go and see what happens tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for coming along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.